Welcome back everyone to Pineleaf Plays the Runekeeper. And it's time for us to take some silvery ore samples to see if the silvery ore has any mithril inside of it. Now mithril is known as Moria Silver, so it's always possible, but then it's also possible that just Includes everyday old typical silver. And of course there are also other metals that also have a bit of a silvery color. Like platinum for example. Well, I suspect they wouldn't cry too much over a little bit of platinum. Though of course, platinum is not mithril. Where it is? And Mithril is what they really want here because it's the reason why you go through all the dangers of Moria. Yeah, I know. They would just accept a few other side bits of metals and jewels and stuff like that, I'm sure. But what they really want is Mithril. And we will find some here. Certainly something in the silver stuff is mythical, right? I mean... Surely... They've got some here. You know, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what type of metal mithril is. Now, I did pass one a moment ago, but it was right next to that... Deep Claw, or... Whatever they call those things. Well, maybe it wasn't right next to him. Either that or he moved. That's another possibility. But anyway, that is the last of our ore samples. So let's go turn these in and see if any of this silvery stuff is mithril. Or... If there is something else that we have to try. Alright, here we go. How about these? Dwarves must fight for dwarves. Ah, nothing. Alas. I will have to search more on my own, but my hopes are rather low right now. Regardless, you have my gratitude, Pinestone. I am certain you did your best. Perhaps there is no true silver left to uncover. <sighs> All right. We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. I'm glad you're back, Pinestone. I have just received a message from... Oh, uh, wait a moment. Yeah. <laughs> I just received a message that we are being attacked by a baby Drake. Yeah, that's the message. Forget about my other message. We're just being attacked. Alright, let's go back to the previous message before that message. I just received a message. Um, Zethmar of the Deep Descent. It would seem that... Niker, a miner from Marin Berbedrez, has gone missing, and all of the dwarves in the area are now looking for him. Will you help? He could easily have passed right under our noses in the dark. I know Niker well. What could he have be doing off by himself? These mines are not safe. All right. All right. So let's look for an apt miner. Ah. Alright, I was expecting one quest there, but I had forgotten about the quest that he actually gave me. Because I was expecting the vector quest to the next area, but nope. Here is... A dead dwarf. Nikers... And... Hey. You there. Did I ask for your help? Well. There you go. Now, you could just go away and leave me alone and then we'll both be happy. You're not used to lightning, are you? Well, then. Alright, I'll, I'll give you a little bit more of it if you want. There you go. How do you like that? <sighs> Alright. Well. Maybe he saw something. Oh, hello there. Balin came, but we have heard no word from him. Oh, you're Swaina. Ah, 
falsely wants me to return to the Chamber of Crossroads? I cannot do that now, Pinestone. There are goblin next to you. Come, fight by my side. Well, I don't you next exactly. I just shock their entire body all in one bit. Oh. There you go. There, does that help? There, 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 there. Alright, alright. Well, I guess I could shock them enough so that their necks will be available for healing. How about that? Is that a good compromise? Reasonable? Alright, there you go. Anyway, would you need a axe, really, to do some really good old-fashioned healing? Ouch. Alright. Well, all right. we'll have to do some new-fashioned healing then. Alright, alright, alright. You're getting annoying. You are getting annoying. And by the way, who is full, full lock? And why are you his servant? Is he worth serving? Well, apparently we don't get full lock himself here. Thank you. Return to Lord Balsy and tell him that the goblins have... These goblins have long memories. Yes. Alright. There we go. Ah, uh, apparently that was it for that. Alright, so we found one dead dwarf and one there. So I guess we have to go back to Balsy at some point. But we'll finish here at the Silver Teen Loads first. Then we'll go back to the Chamber of Crossroads. So here we go. Up back here. All right, I uh, found them, or at least his body. The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Khazadum. Niker dead? That is a tragedy beyond bearing. What? Ah, fool! What could he have been about? I will send notice to the other camps off in the search. Poor, poor foolish. All right, let's see. Let's get that. We have seen naught of Durin's bane. Be wary if you journey into Moria. We're already deep in Moria. I think we have done enough here to establish that Mithril is not likely to be found in this part of the Silver Teen Lodes. I may pack up and turn to the Deep Descent or Merenberge. I have not yet decided. If you wish to continue on exploration, however, you could search for Undolt here. He was making his way into the old dwarf city that was rumored to have been south of the Silver Teen Lodes. The only way to search it is by a hidden door in a passage near here. Make your way to Ondot, if you will, and then I believe you will ha see. You will have seen all there is to see in these parts. All right, so we now go and find a hidden door. Where I am sure we'll find out some more information. Find another quest giver. Who will surely have something for us to do. First we have to find this hidden door. It depends on how well hidden it is. Hmm. Oh, well, nothing I can do there, I guess. Alright. Well. Oh, I see a door ahead. Not very hidden. Okay. Well, I thought doors are better at hiding doors doors than that. Well, no. Well, this looks like it. Oh, hello there. On Dolt, I presume. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Oh, hello there, traveler. I did not expect anyone to come along for me, but my curiosity to behold this place could not be contained. Marvelous and surprising, is it not? The civilization in the Silver Teen was once very great, I think. I should like to explore it. All right. Abide here a moment and speak with me. 
I have noticed some very evil-looking dragonettes during my travels through the Silver Teen Loads, but with no sense of where their hive could be until I came here. I believe they have made their home in this old city. If you slay them at their own hive, I believe we will be cutting off an entire population of the menaces throughout the entirety of the Silver Teen. Will you help me? All right, so kill some dragonettes. Abide here a moment and speak with me. I notice a strange light and many colors coming from the far end of the ancient city's edge, Pinestone. What could it be? Will you go and take a look? I worry there are some goblin campfires perched nearby, and the goblins are ready to spring. Oh. And... We have little time to speak. Great events have been set in motion. It will appear that we have another problematic inhabitant in the city. Deep Claws have made themselves quite the little nest here. And as long as they remain, Old Silver Teen City will be hopelessly polluted. They have uneven tempers, those beasts, and they weaken the foundations of Moria. You ought to go clear out this wretched nest when you have a spare time. Alright, so... If I recall correctly, these things are in two different directions. And I want to go to the direction of the dragonettes first. Since that's what I have time for. Unfortunately, I have to go through a couple of these worms first. Alright, that's one. Oh, and here's the first of the dragonettes. And these dragonettes are really nasty, poisonous, acidic, anything you can think of. And that's one down and nine more to go. <laughs> oh. Alright, that's where we have the nests and the deep claws, but I'm going in the direction of the dragonettes right now. Partly because I believe this is where I'll uncover the first of the riddles I'll be facing. That's two down. Yeah, so here's the first riddle room. I think I'll be able to... Right? Hmm. Well... I was hoping that I could trigger off the riddle quest here. Where do I have to do that? Oh, great. Uh, that's right. I must have been in the deep scent at the time before I triggered off the series. Ah. So I had to go all the way back to the deep descent in order to... Oh, that's disheartening. So what I am going to have to do then is take care of these drakes. And these, actually, I'm not going to take care of these dragonets now. Because I'm going to have to come back here in order to do that. Because I want to... I want to take care of this just in case the trigger is over here. But I think the trigger must be... Well, that probably wasn't my best idea. I'm beginning to think that the trigger is inside the deep descent and that either A, I missed it, or B, it wasn't active at the time that I looked for it before. Because each of these things... Now, if I remember correctly... No. That goat's not active until after I finish all the quests here. But I am going to head for the Dolven View, since that's the closest point to the Deep Descent. And I want to see if I can get this quest triggered.
I'm still in level 52 areas. All right. So back through here. Into these tunnels where I have been before. And I want to find that. Well, it looks like we'll have to solve the riddle in the next episode. And also take care of those other items. Okay, give me that breath. Alright. Good. And right this is where I wanted to go now I hope i have not on a wild real chase goose chase whatever chase it would be no, that's not that where that's pretty sure oh don't hey wait a minute cuz I thought I unlocked the series if I unlock the series, shouldn't it? I'd be able to unlock the individual quests. Oh, fiddlesticks. Alright, well, that was a useless little... And he's going nowhere near where I need to go. Dorian returns soon to his halls. Right. Well, I'm going to have to make my way back to the old Silverteen City. And I will resume there in the next episode. There is one more possibility that I did not consider. And that is... Oh, come on! It was right in front of my face. <sighs> You have found a plaque bearing the strange runes of Thalgerir Twist Tongue, author of the papers you found in Katub Zanhar. When translated, they read as follows. I can sizzle like bacon. I am made with an egg. I have plenty of backbone, but I lack a good leg. I peel layers like an onion, but I still remain whole. I can be long like a flagpole, yet fit in small holes. What am I? So that is the first of the riddles that we have to solve in the series from Twister Tongue. And next time we are going to go back into that room with the Dragonettes. And we are going to finish fighting them, assuming that we don't kill enough on our way there and take care of the riddle that is there and we know the riddles there because at the entrance to that room you have two plaques bearing snakes which of course will be the answer to the riddle since they and they come from eggs they have a very long backbone but of course no legs and of course they could shed their skin but afterwards they're of course still whole and of course they are long but they're not very wide so therefore they obviously fit small holes so next time we will go down solve the riddle that is in that room kill the rest of the dragoness and perhaps take care of these other quests in the next episode of Pineleaf Plays the Roomkeeper.